You say Castile didn't just work with the kids, with the students. He knew their names, knew things about them. Tell us a little bit more about his interactions with the children there. What kind of person was he? Such a... Mr. Phil was just gentle, laid back, fun, sweetheart. Um, kids knew that with him, they would have everything they needed when they needed it. They could go to him for almost anything. And that's a male role model for them that can never be replaced. We're just devastated. You know, this was, this was a person who was our friend, our colleague. Um, just the opposite of anyone you'd feel you need to defend yourself from. And yesterday we were planning to hold a vigil in the garden, small vigil, and it turned into thousands among thousands of people. Um, and I saw several of my students standing up in the slide on the playground watching and taking this all in, probably not fully understanding what it means. Um, I'm grateful that it's summer, selfishly, because I don't know how to talk to them all about this, especially my little boys that look like Phil. Um, how do I explain that to them? I don't know. But come come fall, we're going to have to we're going to have to take them in our arms and explain, you know, that this wonderful man that they knew day to day is is not coming back, and why? I, that's that's the question, right? How do I tell that to a six-year-old? As the weeks go forward, I'm sure we will will be aware of how we're going to deal with it as staff and how we're going to talk to our kids as a united front and let them know that this happened and tell them the truth and give them an opportunity to make a difference in the world that you know they want to grow up knowing they can do anything I don't want to have to say to them you know because of the way you look you might not be able to do what you want Mr. Phil miss you so much and I I weep for the opportunities these children would have had because of you in the future that are now lost